Hi folks, my name's Joe Patterson. Thank you for stopping by my YouTube channel. Talk real quick if you don't mind. <clears throat> Something. It should be extremely simple. And I'm gonna have to keep this short, short video. Um, let's talk real quick about obeying God. I made a video earlier on a man that I believe is a false teacher giving false teaching. The understanding, and many people will teach you this, uh, if you are coming into the Lord, say you're young, immature, you're trying to, to come to know God more and you want to serve God and you try to hang around people that you think you respect, you honor, uh, because they've been around a long time, maybe going to church a long time, whatever. This is an issue that needs to be settled in your heart and in your mind. You need to know the true understanding of, you know, what did Jesus teach? And quite simply said, this is what the Lord Jesus taught. Blessed are those who hear the words that I teach and put them into practice. They will be saved. The people who hear the words I teach and do not put them into practice will fall. This is taught by the Lord Jesus, folks. I just quoted to you. It's a parable about uh, the people who build on the rock or the people who build on sand. You're welcome to look it up. Google it. Jesus teaches many places in the scriptures of understanding about learning to understand that if you claim to know him, yet you do not obey him. You do not obey his commandment. This is Jesus, folks. I'm quoting what Jesus said. Jesus said, anyone who claims to love me but does not obey my commandments is a liar. There you go. Simple, easy to understand. So it is an act of, of obedience to confess Christ with your mouth and to believe in your heart. It is an act of obedience just to even do that. So I have people who comment on occasion on my YouTube channel. They say, Joe, you're, what you're teaching is that people have to depend on themselves, not Jesus, because you say that you have to obey to be saved. And I'm not saying you have to obey to be saved at all. I'm quoting Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, who tells you that you have to obey or you will be condemned. Jesus is the one that said it. I'm not inventing anything. I'm not trying to market anything or brand anything. It is the Lord Jesus' teachings. He is the one that says that he is the vine and we are the branches. He said in him is the only way we can do good work. In him. And if you are in him and you don't produce the fruit of the kingdom of God, that means you're doing something, you're producing something with your faith. He says, not me, Jesus says, if you lack, if you don't produce it, that you will be cut off by my Father in heaven and thrown into the fire. This is Jesus preaching. All through the scripture, Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, the apostles, all of them are teaching that you must repent. You must take on newness of life. Your mind, the scripture says, must be transformed and made new. So yes, I do believe that you must obey God to be saved, okay? He sent his son down here, Jesus the Christ, to teach us what pleases the Father, the way to live, the way to love, the way to forsake evil, the way to overcome, the way to heaven, the way to the resurrection that leads to life. Okay, all of these things is why he sent his son down here, so that by his grace, by his blood, we can be saved. The gift has been offered freely. Jesus says, cursed is anyone who puts their hand to the plow and looks back. They're not fit for service in the kingdom. He says, it would be better if you had not known the way of life than to have known it and turn your back on it. Again, these are teachings of Christ Jesus. So, please, I pray that you will hear this today, that you must obey God in order to be saved. Till next time, Brother Joe.